Through the rain and shine, dozens gather in downtown Victoria, speaking up against anti-Asian hate. Today we are here to acknowledge anyone who's faced discrimination due to their color, their skin, their race. Discrimination against the Asian community has soared with COVID-19 as the catalyst. According to the province, over the past year, hate crimes against those of Asian descent shot up by a staggering 700% in Vancouver. And of the incidents reported in Canada, a whopping 44% took place in BC. I think that people are just looking for someone to blame, but it's not fair that they blame Asians. There's only way to stop this is to raise awareness because... You can't stop a problem unless people are aware of it. And it's not just passing comments. Last summer, the Victoria Chinese Public School was vandalized with racist graffiti. Those that actually are racist against the Asian community due to COVID or anything, uh, they need to get their head out of the sand. They need to uh, essentially understand that it doesn't come from one place. Alan Lowe was Victoria's first and only mayor of Asian descent when he was elected in 1999. It actually made the community very proud, mainly our ancestors, uh, the ones that never had the right to vote. Before the year 2000, I was able to be elected as uh, the mayor of Victoria. So uh, it was a proud moment for the Victoria Chinese community. Today, many are taking a stance against racism, but not just in Victoria. Anti-Asian hate rallies popped up across the nation today in Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver and the Okanagan. Racism exists, but we all can do our part uh, to stop it. This is a really important injustice that we as people need to take stand against. As a Japanese uh, immigrant to Canada, I believe it's important for me to show up and support. This rally raising awareness with the hope that anti-Asian hate will stop.